Websites are made up of various web pages. A web page will have at least one and possibly up to three different components that make it work. The first is the structure. The structure is defined by the HTML and its tags, such as H1 tags, paragraph tags, and more. If we look inside our source code, we can see them throughout our source code, including in things like divs, H1s, the P tag, the image tag, etc. When displayed inside of a WYSIWYG editor like Dreamweaver or inside of a browser, you'll see it has a certain look to it. This look is defined by the second part, which is your style. Your style is made up of CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It tells the web browser how it should make the web page look. In certain web browsers, we can turn the style off to see a difference between our style page and a page with no HTML style. All the content will remain, but how the content is viewed will be very, very different. Additionally, we have interaction. This is controlled usually by JavaScript. JavaScript is the default language of interaction for the web and allows us to perform a behavior based upon input or change. This could be either based upon time or something that the user does, such as clicking or typing. For example, if I click on my header, I can make it change colors, which is a little bit of script and code. My scripting can be used for much more complicated things, everything from form processing, all the way up to complex things, such as creating web-based games. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up, with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.